Hey gang, it's time to do our laws of exponents. So you've got your booklet, you took your staple out, you folded it, and you put it together, and now you're here, adding and subtracting monomials. So grab a pencil or a pen and off we will go. So what is a monomial? So a monomial is nothing more than a number, a variable, remember that's gonna be your letters, or a product of a number and a variable. Now I'm going to put a little parenthesis S because it might be more than one variable. Okay? Now I'm going to finish that in just a second, but I'm going to come over here and I want to give you some examples. All right, 5x. This is an example of a monomial. Mono, when you hear that word, you think of one, a single term. This would be the term 5x. It might just be a number. This is considered a monomial. I could say 10x squared y. That is a monomial. What, how, how do I, what's more than a monomial? Well, if you had something called a polynomial, hopefully your biology is coming into play here. Poly means many, right? All right, so these are monomials. Mono means one. One single term. 5x is a monomial. Five is a monomial. 10x squared y is a monomial, but when I connect those with an operation, I'm just going to throw some on here, I have suddenly created a polynomial, many terms put together in one equation. Monomials are individuals, polynomials are when you have more than one. All right, so now that you've kind of got that vocabulary down, we're going to be working with monomials and we're going to put them together to make polynomials. So monomials with the same variable and exponent are called like terms. All right, so I'm going to come back over here. Like terms. So let's talk about like terms. All right, if I have 2x this is what I'm going to call the X family. Now, everybody has a last name. You can't get away from it. I guess unless you're Prince. You know, he didn't have a last name. But anyway, I'm trying to think. There's other people, like, I'm sure, like, okay, I'm thinking Rihanna, but I think she might have a last, I don't know what her last name is. But anyway, you get the idea. Everybody has a last name. The last name of this family is the X family. And if I want to put it together with, say, somebody else in his family, the last name would have to be X. If I tried to say 2Y, this is the Y family. These are the X family. I can put these guys together because they're in the same family. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to say this is the X family. This right here is the Y family. Now, we're going to talk about something that used to be controversial. It's not quite as controversial anymore. In order to go with your family somewhere, you have to be in the same family. In other words, the X family and the Y family, they can't merge and become the XY family. It doesn't happen that way. So, when your family is separated by a wall, okay, the operation here is my wall. These families are all separated by a gigantic wall. The only way to get across the wall is if you are with your family. So this is the X family. 2X is going to go over the wall and get to the X family over here because they're the same family. What is 2 plus set or 5? Oh, I almost said it, didn't I? 2 plus 5 is simply 7. And what's the last name of this family? This is the X family. You can't change your last name. Now, girls, you get married, and sometimes you change your last name. But overall, you can't change your last name. This is the X family. It is not the X to the second power family. It's just X. 
And over here, this Y, he, there's no family. He didn't have anybody to go with. Let's add a family. Let's say I have the 5Y. Suddenly, the Y has a family member. It's two Ys, right? Y and Y. So he can go across the family and get together. Two plus five is seven, and the last name is Y. You can't change your last name. I'm gonna put that right here. Can't change your last name. Okay, you're stuck with it. That name kind of looks funny there. All right, can I put these guys together? They're both sevens. Can I say 14XY? No. They are separated by a wall. And the only way to go across the wall is if you are with your family. Mm, this is the X family. This is the Y family. Nobody's in the same family. All right, so let's go over here and let's take a look at these examples. Number one, 12X plus 9X. All right, right off the bat, I noticed there is a gigantic wall. Only way to go across the wall is if you are with your family. Well, this they're both X's, right? So I can put those together. 12 plus 9 is 21. Now what happens here? This is the X and this is the X. Don't change their last name. It's still the X family. But now, let's get to something new that you haven't seen before. The, these guys are separated by a wall. Now it's a negative wall, but that's okay. It's still separating these two terms. These two monomials are separated by that negative. Okay, this is the A squared family, and this is the A squared family. Oh, they're the same family. I can put them together. Five minus eight is negative three. But what do I do here? The last name is A squared, so you don't change the family's last name. All right, I'm gonna give you a second on this one. I want you to underline the families, the ones that can actually get to each other. All right, so we can put those together. They're the same family. So I'm gonna rewrite this, 6x minus 14x plus 10y. All right, these guys are separated by a wall. The only way to go across it is with your family. This is the x family. 6 minus 14, is negative 8 and the last name doesn't change which is X and so I'm gonna mark these off because I used them oh man the Y family there's nobody left so we're just gonna say plus 10 Y he has nobody to go with all right number four you can rearrange it if you want I'm going to rearrange it I'm gonna say 3 Y I'm gonna mark him off plus 4y, I'm going to mark it off, plus 9z, minus 3z. All right, what does that equal? The y family goes together, separated by the walls. 3y and 4y give me 7y's, I'm going to mark them off. 9 minus 3 will give me 6, and it is the Z family. All right, y'all, that's how you combine like terms.